All right, here's a new example. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a cosine, and we're going to have an amplitude change and a period change. So this, so step one is to identify your A. There we go. And your B. And your C. And your D. And then we want to calculate the new period. So the new period is 2 pi divided by B, and our B is 1 half. So when we do 2 divided by 1 half, we get 4 pi. So the period is 4 pi. So the next thing we want to do is graph the pure graph with the period of this equation. So recall that the cosine, sometimes I like to make myself like a little uh, mini picture to remind myself. So remember the sine goes like that, that's the sine curve, and the cosine starts at a maximum and ends at a maximum. So sometimes I like to do that just to refresh my memory. So anyway, this period is going to be 4 pi. So let's go ahead and make our axes. we got a 1 pi, a 2 pi, a 3 pi, and a 4 pi. And let's make um, the amplitude 1 right there for our pure graph, 1 and negative 1. So remember the cosine starts at a maximum and it ends at a maximum. There we go. And then halfway through the period, the cosine is at its minimum. And then a quarter of the way through the period, we have an x-intercept. Three quarters of the way through the period, we have an x-intercept. And then we're just going to lightly connect those. Okay. So there's the pure graph cosine with the new period. So now I want to do the amplitude. Let me change colors here. Well, the amplitude is 2. So that means that the maximum, instead of being at 1, is now at 2. There we go. And the minimum, instead of being at negative 1, is at negative 2. So there we go. And it does not change the x-intercepts. So now I'm just going to co connect the red ones here. There we go. Okay. And all the way up there. And then again, I'm just going to, it's already written up here, so I'm just going to draw an arrow and say that's the one that's 2 times the cosine of 1 half x. And then you can graph this on your calculator. Let me give you a good window setting. You'll get the hang of this after a while. 4 pi. And your x scale can be pi if you'd like. Um, that way you'll see, you know, hash marks every pi. And then your y, of course, can go from negative 2 up to positive 2. And again, again graph your, um, you can graph your current or your pure graph function first, and then you can graph this one. Um, and then you'll s you'll see this with both changes. You'll see it with the amplitude change, and you'll see it with the period change there. So that part you can do on your calculator if you wish. You don't have to do that. It's just sometimes people really like to see it on the calculator as a check, and um, uh, if you want, um, you don't have to do that. So that's the end of this example.